to talk to someone that doesn't want to talk. For my safety. And, and harassing you, you would get a little like, why are you harassing me? I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm investigating a, a potential crime, okay? There's an oak oh, for crying out loud. Can I was given. I not empower okay. over anybody. I ain't gonna lie, uh, her face don't really look all that good, but... And I feel like she got some. You know what I mean? Like her face don't look good, but she low key look good. You can tell like she's like forty or late thirties, late thirties. But she look good in that red sweater though. I'm about to put you in handcuffs if no, you don't you're stop. Not put me in handcuffs. Yes, I am. No, you're you're not. Not. So let me see behind your back. Don't your hands stop it! You're you your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. Okay, I'm not doing that. Put your hands behind your back. Ow, ow, you put your I didn't hands do behind it. your back. Hey, put your hands you know behind what? your I back. Didn't do it. Put your hand ow, behind your back. Ow, ow, that hurts. Put your hand behind your back. Shit! Hey, 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 bro, this is weird. Hey, bro, I didn't expect this to get. Hey, I did not expect this to get so dramatic, bro. That, hey, this is like a damn movie, like a crime movie. This look like SA. This low key looks like SA. This is like SA Assault. I'm gonna be real with you. This is like SA Assault. Uh, nah, that's a little weird. I don't know. It got me goosebumps a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you. But this this crazy hot this came out. Jensen of North Salt Lake. Nah. In December 2020, a bountiful police officer Jensen. was called by Greta and her ex-husband's neighbor on the basis of a domestic violence disturbance. But little did they know, they were about to witness true violence when the cops showed up. Cops don't give a fuck. To arrive on scene is the police corporal John Joubert, who has been with the force for 15 years. Hi. How you doing? Oh, good. How are you doing? Good. We had a call about a disturbance here. There is no disturbance here. I'm not here. We're just talking. Okay. Well, it looks we like you're... Yet. We haven't yelled or nothing. <clears throat> looks like you're trying to talk to someone that doesn't want to talk. No, he has his window down. We've been talking. We had some house stuff to talk about and stuff, and we're just talking. He's just keeping warm, I reckon. I don't know. I didn't ask him to get out. So. Well, his, his window was rolled up. That's weird. Well, well, you weren't here the whole time his window wasn't rolled up. <laughs> He rolled it up when he turned on his heater. But She's we leaving talking. and I'm, I'm going. Yeah. We're not. There's no disturbance. Somebody lied to you. I would get them for false, um, false, <laughs> or false reporting because we hadn't had any disturbance. No. Okay. Not that I know of. Well, so are you doing okay? It's all good. I'm good. Good. Yeah. I'm just going yeah, in and she's leaving. So. Yeah, we were just talking about some stuff. Is there something? Oh, shit. Sure. I don't think he cares about her. I don't think. I low key feel like she's probably. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like she's an aggressive person. She probably act like it's all good, but it really ain't. It's crazy, you live in a house like this, but you, I don't know. I don't know if she's a bad person or not, I really don't know. The first 30 seconds I first seen this video, oh my God. It, it looked like um, S.A. or so I ain't gonna lie to you. But she got some yitties. That's what I was trying to say in the beginning of the video. She looked like she got some yitties, I ain't gonna lie to you. Is there somebody else here? Cause I'm confused now. I am too. We didn't hear anything. Well, Nobody yelled. Yell no, I was not yelling. See, like see, no. see, see. He ain't got nothing to do with it. He don't care. He ain't trying to deal with it. He really ain't trying to deal with it at all. He is not trying to deal with her. See, when a woman throws like a uh, outrage, trying to get attention, you know, just being violent, trying to make. Usually, they they succeed in making a man out to be the bad person but nah he he just trying to he just came back he just trying to get his shit and just go to the house bro see us men we trying to get our shit go to the house we ain't want no trouble we don't care but the woman they cause attention they an attention seek i swear see she looks suspicious she said, no no we ain't doing we, we ain't doing no suspicious i'm not suspicious i ain't young we ain't young but she's trying to get him involved she's trying to get him involved she knows see she knows she's about to get in trouble he don't want nothing to do with it I was talking just like that. I wasn't talking loud. Right from the start, things aren't looking too great for Miss Jensen, especially with the way Ms. Officer Jensen. John is interpreting things. Miss Jensen. Monty. No, we haven't How talked. I talked like this. Are you, are you guys ex? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ex wife? Okay. So we still have some. Stuff. Who's the landlord? Jeremy. Do you, any well, idea why he'd be calling? Maybe she was yelling through the no, window. No, but maybe they. I don't know. Monty, I was not yelling. And well, you know I had it. the window closed. Maybe. No, yeah. I was talking. This is as loud as I talked. So no, it, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Right? No, it ain't. We were just talking, and he ain't even. We ain't have. We don't have any issue. 
We were just talking about- Notice how the husband himself doesn't seem too bothered by the presence of Jensen? That might indicate a false call. In fact, the husband just continues to walk out of the scene completely. Can I just talk to you inside later and then just- Wait, just... wait, hold on. Is this a- Oh, I just now- I'm- Forgive me, guys. I'm slow. I'm slow? Hey. Okay, I just read the title, Corrupt Cop. Oh, this might be essay or so. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, we, I was just leaving. We were just talking. That's all we were doing. We're not arguing. You're not mad. Okay. Nothing. Can you take your hands out of your pockets for me? Yeah. Well. You're cold. <laughs> can you just keep them out of your pockets, please? Uh, no, I don't have. You don't feel? I don't have can anything you, in my pockets. Well, don't you, be silly. Why don't you settle down a little bit, okay? It's something I do for my safety. If somebody comes and harassing you, you would get a little like, why are you harassing me? I didn't do nothing wrong. So Who's I, harassing you? It feels like harassment. I'm just so, asking you what's going on. I okay. need you to stay here. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm investigating a, a potential crime, okay? There's an oak oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Now you're exaggerating. I need you to settle down. There's no. Based on the information you know, I, I got. I can talk. Based on the information not, I was given. You're not in power over okay. I'm, I'm about to put you in handcuffs no, if you don't you're stop. Not put me in handcuffs. I'm gonna be. Yes, I'm man. gonna be real with you, bro. I mean, in a, a situation like this, bro, you gotta stay completely calm. Because these people are looking for a reason to hurt you. Especially if you're black, you know? I'm being real with you, bro. Oh my God. I haven't ran into these people, but I'm going to make sure I have a lot of money on me so I can have power, bro. I'm just being real with you, bro. I hope I don't run into these type of cops. You know, I hope I don't run into these type of policemen still being broke, still being poor. Because I want to have your leverage on me just in case they try to, you know, do something to me, hurt me. And it's gonna be on camera too, cause I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be streaming this. <laughs> if they gonna take me out, they are gonna be exposed. So, yeah. No, you're not. So let me tell you I've what the call was. Wrong. I've done nothing. Let me wrong. tell you what the report was. I don't care what the report was. He just told you we weren't doing anything, and we are the two people involved. Nah, normal speed's fine. So. So we got a call that. Um, I feel like she's a being teacher. disorderly out in front of the house. Um, That's a lie. That you were shouting at him. No, no shouting. And that you were not letting him get out of the car. Never, never did. I was just standing there talking. We were just talking. Despite Greta's best efforts to explain to the cop that she was not arguing, Officer John refuses to believe her. He never said move. You know, you know, I, I'll take it back. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't know why I was trying to paint that picture of her, but she seemed, she probably is scared because the cops are there. I mean, who wouldn't be scared of a policeman? Like walking up on you. She probably is innocent. She probably might be innocent. I'm gonna get out of the car. He had the heater on. He turned it off. He started the car back and we were just talking. Okay. And I was leaving. We were we were we were about I gave him a piece of mail that came to okay. the house that he needed. And then we started talking about we gotta sell the house and we were talking about pricing and just different things. Okay. We weren't arguing at all. There was no well, can you understand how it would look to me when I come walking up here and his windows rolled up and you're being kinda loud? You know what? That I don't wasn't mean being anything. Kinda loud. That don't so mean John anything. brings up a good point of how it might seem like Greta might be in the wrong in this scenario. Still profiling. You can say it all you want. Don't make it true. Your opinion okay. doesn't make facts true. That's so, true. What's your name? Point. Greta. What's your last name? The same as his. What's your date of birth? Okay. There is no nothing. Go get whoever said that. Well, that's what I'm, Monty I'm going just, to. You know what? Me and Monty. Can you, can you just, just listen, stand still, please? Me, don't tell me how to move. I You're just, not God. I just get asked you it. to please stand still. I asked you to quit bossing me around. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing wrong. I asked you. I'm not bossing. You know what you're doing, sir. You I know what asked you're doing. You, to stand still, you know please. what you're doing. Stop. Will you Your please? Ego is out of control. I just said, stop. please. Will you please I'm just not settle down? I'm doing anything wrong. We were having a perfectly you know fine conversation. Yeah. Me and Monty, are we the. Did he tell you there was no problem? Did I tell you another problem? Well, people. And we're the, I, we didn't see yeah. anybody. So I need to speak to people so. separately when it's, an, when it's a domestic violence There's, possible oh, issue. Okay, I'm going. Stop. Don't walk off, bro. Don't do that. Don't give them a reason to do that. Y'all need to be smart, bro. You can't just walk off. Listen, a corrupt cop is waiting for a reason to do this. They are waiting for a reason to put their hands on you. They're waiting to shoot you. They're waiting to do that to you, bro. They're waiting to do that. Hold on, man. I really want to put the camera in the right angle. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't... I really don't... Uh, he's about to put his hands on. Ain't nobody gonna put their hands on me. I'm sorry. If you're gonna kill me, if you're gonna get shit... 
Okay, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stop it. You're you Put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. He's so aggressive. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Although Greta is resisting, Officer John decides to pull something unthinkable, which no cop in this situation should ever do. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You essay her? Just stop right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Put your hands behind your back. I am. Stop right now. Put your hands behind your back. Stop right now. Yes, expedite now. No, you're lying. Put your hands behind your back. What is he doing? What is he doing? Don't do nothing, sir. Put your other hand behind your back. Stop. Please don't make this something it's not. Put your hand behind your back. I had shoulder surgery. Will you stop? Put your other hand behind your back. I can't do nothing. Put your other hand behind your back. Listen, stop. Just stop right now. Stop. Behind you. You are harassing me. Please stop. Put your hand behind your back. I'm not doing nothing. I don't have a weapon. Put your hand behind your back. I'm not doing What is he? Oh, he's harassing. Put your hand behind your back. Damn, chill out, bro. This is creepy. You know, I don't even like watching it. It just make me feel some type of way, man. Like, I really don't like watching shit like this. Police brutality, dude. This is police brutality. I can't stand that. I really can't stand people like that, bro. I ain't trying to I me. Mean, I stay away from these people, bro. This shit make me feel scared. Like, I can't be around people like this. I really cannot. This is scary, bro. I swear, bro. You need your own kind of power. I swear to God, bro. You can't just... You can't just walk around out here without people profiling you they technically was profiling they assume they assumed that she was starting something that she was up to no good but really she wasn't she didn't do nothing at least i don't think she did anything well what are you doing why are you gonna how are you gonna say put how are you gonna say put your hands behind your back when you got her facing in front of you how you gonna tell her put her hands behind her back when her back is literally on the concrete? Her stomach is facing right in front of you like you about to get on her or something. That look weird. That look like SA or so. I'm being real with you. How you gonna tell somebody that? That's like putting a knee on somebody and telling them to roll over or something. Hey, put your hand you know behind your I back. Do... Put your hand Ow! behind your back. Ow! Ow! That hurts! Put your hand behind your back. What are you he doing? Hit me. He hit me. On your back. He hit me. It's two people. Is it two people? Dude, they creepy as fuck, bro. Talking about stop, we'll figure it out. Nah, that's I don't like people like that. People think they can abuse their power, bro. It's these white cops, bro, are fucking scary, bro. I really don't like these people, bro. They are evil. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm a rich one. I'm gonna make sure these these cops fear me. I'm gonna make sure they fear me, real talk. I'm gonna make sure I have power over them. Oh, wait, it's gonna be a cold day for them. Figure it you out. got a lawsuit. You got a lawsuit. You fuck. You cannot do that to somebody. I didn't do nothing. I did nothing. Yeah, Get dirty, dude. Here. Get medical here. Right now. This right. dude, this dude pent her down. He pent her against the wall. And he basically threw her down. And he had, okay. You know when you're getting on, okay, he told her to get, he, ho he told her to take, put your hands behind your back. How can she do that if she's facing in front of you, if her back is actually facing like the concrete? That don't make sense. She's not even turned over. It was almost like he was about to essay her, you know? That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like to me. That's what it looked like. That's It's crazy how they got webcams and they still harassing her. That's really just self-incrimination. Did not do anything. Okay. How do those handcuffs feel? Do not do anything. 
I didn't do anything. I was talking to him and asking him this question. He came up here and me and Monty were talking. We did nothing. We even told him that we were Although it's not apparent in the video, Greta was left with a fractured jaw as well as a bust-up shoulder due to this incident. In fact, she even filed a lawsuit against the Bountiful Police Department after this incident. You saw it. She did it. He knocked me on the ground. He hit my face up against the sidewalk. Yeah, it's uh, Monty's. He's inside. I sent him inside. It's not his house. He after his brutal takedown, the cop questions the neighbor who made the initial call allowing us to get more insight into the situation. Hello. Officers, I'm so sorry. Are you the, the owner then? Yes. Okay. Where is Monty? Monty was in his. Yeah, he was when I got here. She, oh, okay. Where did oh, he? Where, is he inside? He, live? he lives in the back. Of so which the, one? The entrance. The entrance. Let me grab my shoes real quick. Man, you just this. you just assaulted a woman and you ask him where he is. Are you about to assault him too or something? You just threw her to the ground, punched her. Looked like you was about to essay her. You know, it looks like he was almost about to like rip her. But that's what he looked like he was doing. Like. You was about to do something else, dude. That's what it looked like. That's really what it looked like. Let me just talk to you first, too, before we go. Yeah, talk to him again. I just want to know where we're going. His door's right there. But okay, so what did you see happening? So I pulled in, came home. Just, I'll, I'll give you just a brief background and then tell you what I saw. Um, I got home. Oh, he's, he's friendly for all I know. Like, he okay. was fine with me. Okay. And, we've, and we've had no issues. Monty's been great. He's a good neighbor. He's a good tenant. He's, he's good. Um, I, from, from all accounts, she provokes him. Uh -huh. You know, if, if ever, you know, there's been a couple times where there's been kind of an, a dispute outdoors, and she, 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 she really rides him pretty hard. Uh -huh. um, but... So she, she comes, he's made it clear, he's told me she's not welcome, and that I'm welcome. Oh, let me take it, let me take it back, let me take it back, let me take it back, let me take it back. So she is in the wrong, I figured, I figured, it was a gut feeling. I, I had, I tried to uh, give it a benefit of the doubt, no, it's just, see, the moment the dude walked off and said, oh yeah, it's just you, you're the one, yep. See, I instantly knew that she could be in the wrong, I just didn't know for sure. Because she act like she got something to how, how her body was like. You know how uh, people have like body language when like they talk in a weird way. She tried to get other people in clue, you know, like, I don't know. It's just like people is trying to get out of a situation by including somebody else in it, you know? She obviously did something. So, yeah, I stand corrected. But low-key, the cop should have handled it a lot better because it looked like he was about to do some weird, wild shit, you know? So I'm not going to even take nothing back what I said about the cop. The cop would low-key be an aggressive. He didn't have to, like, throw her, like, like squeeze on her. I don't know what he was doing, but it looked like S.A. or though. I ain't going to lie to you. He's made me take her that, but she comes around. And she used to come down. I brought your notepad, Sam. But I'm surprised it's usually the man that, that gets bodied by the police, really. It's usually the man that gets assaulted by the police. Just saying. I'm surprised that they... Hit the woman the way that uh, he did, but that's that ain't that ain't cool because that's that's scary. That's scary, you know. Cops are scary. It's it's this right here. It's it's this shit right here though. Like he really should have went about that accordingly. He didn't have to do all that. He didn't have to do all that. He didn't have to put his hands on it like that. He didn't have to. He didn't have to throw on the ground, punch her or nothing. I mean, it looks like he was about to do something to her. Like, it looked like S.A. or something. I'm just saying. You stick I'm just saying. Mine's in the car. Mine's at my desk. I'm That's all right. Yours. No, I got a, uh, okay, I got some. He used to come and wait for him in his stairwell. Okay. He got home from work. And he had no way to get her to leave. Um, and so he started locking this outdoor door. And it goes down the stairs to another door. So so and so since she couldn't talk to him through the door here, she's been coming to his window wells okay. on the side. 
and, and yelling at him through his window wells. And so that's where several times over the last few months, I mean, it's almost been on a weekly basis, I'll get a complaint from a neighbor because they can hear her yelling at him. And so probably three weeks ago, I came out. One time she was yelling at him down her window well, and, or down his window well, and I said, hey, what, what's going on here? You know, and, and I confronted her and asked her. When was this? This was about three weeks ago. Okay. About three weeks ago. Um, and, um, and she was very defensive and angry with me at first. And it took about five, ten minutes of her really challenging me. You know, what, what am I doing? Who's complaining? What's, you know, and I, was, I didn't tell her the neighbor. But just said, look. You know, I, I really don't have a problem that you're here as long as you're welcome and you're civil. But when my neighbors are complaining, we have a problem. And if I have to involve the police, or you know, basically kind of warned her, right? Um, and it got better. Um, she still came around a few times after that, but she was a little quieter. But And then the last couple of weeks, it's... I've had a few more complaints. Have so. we been here in the last couple of weeks? No, and okay. and I, I don't know. You know, that's where it, I, I've I've tried to avoid this type of escalation because I I, I worry that she'll come back. Will you will you get a statement from him, Ryan? Just while I'm talking <laughs> to him. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, Ryan. Yeah, that's all good. Jeremy. Yeah. You hear me? It's yeah. Just, so I goes too far sometimes. Just so you know the circumstances. I had a, I had a neighbor text me again, and oh. they and I was, so I was like I felt like. I'm I've got we, we just want to get a statement from you guys separately before because yeah. things kind of escalated so with this conversation it does seem like the true culprit of all this is just an annoyed neighbor who helped fuel a sparkly situation um no i saw i saw you come here and okay. I, I almost wanted to point you around the corner i should have well yeah it was, you, it was really weird because looking at the map and it says two Seven two thirty eight, and then yeah. I'm like, okay, it's over it's here. It's a six fifty oh, north her. address. I heard her, yeah. and then I was like, okay, this must be where we're going. Yeah. No, things got a little out of hand, so. Um, no, I'm sorry. Okay, about so that. Within, within the last three weeks, started getting worse. Texting yeah. neighbors. So then today, I just came home from. I had my kids in the van, and we just came home from my mom's house. And as I pulled, as I as I pulled around the corner here to come into my garage. She was standing there at Monty's door, mm -hmm. talking at his car to him door? at his car door. Okay. She was standing at his car door, and so my immediate thought, you know, and I, you know, this is something I, I don't know what the facts are, but was that she got him pinned in his car and he's not getting out because he's trying to avoid confrontation. And um, was his window up or down? Up. Window okay. was up. And when was this, like, approximate time? Oh, this was, like, within the last probably 30 minutes. Like, I, I called pretty, okay. pretty close. Because as soon as I saw that, I got out of the car. I could hear her. I could hear her through my garage door. Um, and before we got out of the car, I shut the garage door because the, the one, the garage door that I came in is the one right there where she was standing. So I shut the garage door. And as I'm getting my kids out, I can hear her through the door. I don't know if she was yelling, but I could hear her pretty, pr pretty uh, easily. And, uh, and so we came inside, and I pulled out my phone, and I had a text from a neighbor saying she's back, and she's got him pinned in his car. And so I was like, and I said, uh, you know, so this has been over months, and I have some text history. Can I see that text, and can yeah. I get that neighbor's info? Yeah. Um, there's the text. She's back today. She's literally yelling at him while he's in his car, like trapping him. She sent a picture, so she lives upstairs. Okay, so she's just probably apartment. just watching what yeah. just happened. Just yeah. So she, so she, she probably did see. So how do we get to her up the stairs can, in here, or yeah, th through. You okay. you can go in through here, um, but but because she has access through the back door, um, but because of this situation. She's been nervous, and so we've we've been letting her go through the side here. Okay. And then she has stairs up to her studio apartment up there. Okay. And and so I said, thanks, Sydney. I'll call to report it. They're sending an officer. Okay. And so you can see she's oh, out there. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Oh, that's the same oh, one. Oh, wow. Uh, wait. That's today. 
this is actually last Friday. This sure. Was, oh, okay. Thanks, and then that's today. So a week later. So last okay. Friday, um, Monday, the twenty third, November. Um, and to be fair to Greta, when when I was on the phone, they're like, she, you know, is she yelling? And she wasn't really yelling at him. She seemed calm at at that time. She's yelled at him before, and I've, uh -huh. I've witnessed it. But today, she wasn't. But obviously, clearly, she it sounds like she. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Got her. real upset. Um, after, well, that's because uh, she got really almost essayed by police. I mean, by a policeman. I mean, I'm being real with you. I mean, of course, she was yelling. Of course, she was yelling. She was being pinned down, and then you was grabbing her like this. Kind of, I don't know how. How can I describe it? But. You was grabbing her like this, while she was facing in like facing the front of like in front of you, and you told her to put your hands behind your back when her back is literally against the concrete. She's literally how how can she do that? You didn't turn her around. You didn't. It looks like you was doing something else, man. I'm sorry. It looks like you was doing something else. It looks like you about to essay. I'm I'm gonna be real. I'm still on that shit. You guys showed up, but. Um, so let's see. Uh, Alrighty. Um, and what's your name? Jeremy. J E R E M Y. Yes, sir. Last name. Okay. Thank you. You bet. All right. Well, she's gonna get booked into jail. Oh God. A couple God. things. Oh God. Well, I, I appreciate you yeah. being here. I appreciate all you guys do. It's been a crappy year for law enforcement, but yes, uh, we've yeah, it's been a crappy year for law enforcement. I mean, it's crazy. Um. Yeah, like, you really gotta, like, if you're gonna handle, like, for example, if you got a problem dealing with marriage or whatever, you really gotta handle that accordingly. You can't just be screaming and shouting and all that. If you're gonna do that, do that inside of your house. Hopefully the walls ain't thin or nothing, but you can't just be screaming out outside the neighborhood because people are gonna get annoyed. They're gonna get pissed. There's no, basically, no peace or nothing, so they're going to call the cops or the landlord's going to call them or whatever, and who knows what kind of person behind that badge, you know? You know, something like that. You just got to be mindful of shit like that. You don't know who's a good-hearted, decent person. You don't know who's corrupt, evil. But that's it for this reaction video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.